what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? The New York Daily News posted an absolutely savage cover of Donald Trump on his Twitter page late Thursday. The headline is in reference to former FBI Director James Comey's claims in his new memoir that Donald Trump asked him to look into reports that there existed a P-tape in which he was caught watching prostitutes urinate in a hotel room in Moscow. The President of the United States is a peeping Tom. He's watching prostitutes urinate. The Daily News has been on Donald Trump for a while. Back in February, it depicted Donald Trump with a NRA branded tape across his face, his mouth. And they also called him out when he was golfing during the funerals of the Parkland, Florida mass murder victims. They've also uh, depicted him as Dr. Evil, called him a racist, and they also called him a clown, all of which is true. In addition, they said that his actions were treasonous. Man, high five, high five for the New York Daily Times. They got it right, man. When your own hometown newspaper drag you, there's something wrong with you, especially when you gain notoriety and you become the president of the United States of America and you get dragged by your own hometown newspaper, that lets you know something really is wrong with you because typically the hometown newspaper is going to ride with you. They're going to be proud of you. Like, I have a good relationship with my hometown newspapers. Very good relationship with the, with the media here. But Donald Trump, he can't catch a break because he's trash. After this week, I bet you Donald Trump slammed by 20 cheeseburgers, double cheeseburgers down his rotten throat. Since Trump has been in office, the news has been rated PG. What's going on, Republicans? I thought y'all were the, the, the party of family values. You gotta admit though, that, that cover is epic. They correctly identified him as a P brain. Love it, man, love it. Meanwhile, Vice President Pence is at his residence, setting up shop, practicing his inauguration speech. God help us all. No more talk. What the haters talking about?